right, so I have this wonderful Halda P. Um, unfortunately, the thing needs special spools and it didn't come with special spools. So I'm gonna try to make my own special spools out of these. Now here's a picture of what I should have. Uh, as you can see, you have this little tab over here that's needed to make sure the thing actually rotates. And also this little swivel joint over here, which is needed to uh, make sure your ribbon reverse works. Now basically, if you have just a little tab, you are already golden for typing. But if you want full functionality, you also need this swivel joint. So I'm gonna try to turn this into that with the help of some metal I will harvest from this can. Right. First thing I'm gonna do is get rid of the top and bottom. That's the top, that's off. And now I'm gonna take the bottom off. Horrible, horrible noises. What's that? Now I'm gonna squish this thing with the help of a board to make sure I have a uh, yeah, nice piece of flat metal. This isn't as thick as I want it to be, but better than nothing, I guess. So I can make a little tab out of this by just cutting a piece out. The only thing I wonder is if it's gonna be strong enough. Well, yeah, I can put some pressure to it before it starts to buckle or anything. Okay, great. That's a start. I did some measuring and drawing and this is basically all I need for uh, a single spool. So I need one tab to make sure that the thing uh, rotates. I need a hinge plate. I need two hinge mounting points on each uh, side. So what I did now is so I really drew out the tabs, these two over here, and the four hinges, these four over here, I already drew them, and now I'm gonna start cutting them out. Fun, fun, fun. So as often goes with these things, some bits went okay, some bits didn't. So what I didn't show you on screen was cutting these up. Now normally the idea was that these should stay together 2x2, two two, but that didn't work. It did kind of work for the uh, little hinges and little tabs, so I'm gonna now uh, fold those. And I'm ready with these. What I'm gonna try to do is glue each two of these together. And clamp them in between some wood, and then hopefully stick together uh, with the thermal glue. My trusted little glue gun here. Oh, let's see what happens. Probably should have preheated it first. So just if it's too thick, reheat it on the nozzle. Make the glue melt again. And then squish it again. That's better, but not quite there yet. So I'm gonna do that again. And this bit specifically. Oh, 
perfect. There we go. Now time for some folding. So now I need to make a slit over here of about six millimeters long next to this post to mount the uh, little thingies I made. These are need gonna be need to be bent of course. But first I'm gonna try to make a hole. Time to bend one of these. Let's see where I end up. The longest slit thing is going to end up at the bottom. And the shortest is going to end up inside. Like so. Or the idea is when it's bent, these two things act as hinges. And that thing over here will act as the little uh, thingy that's going to be. acting as the ribbon reverse mechanism. not working properly. Something like this. Okay. Now I need to bend it so that thing is flush against And these little tabs need to get crushed into each other. Let's form this little circular thing like so. So they can act as a hinge. I'm only doing this because I didn't find any that I could buy. If you can buy a set of these uh, Halda spools, I suggest you do. Because this is just yeah, a bit of annoying work just to get the ribbon reverse function. This is roughly, I think, what I should end up with. Eh, doesn't look half bad. Let's see if these these holes. Yep, that looks like it will work. So now I need to fix these to the bottom. Okay, time to glue and try to not burn my hand. It's gonna be easier said than done, I'm afraid. So I'm gonna heat this thing up a bit on the nozzle so the glue stays liquid for a little while longer. There we go, there we go, quickly. That's one of the hinges. Insert this thing, and of course, I glued it too close. I'm gonna probably misheat it and move it a bit. There we go. That 
it should be bigger. It fit now, it fits. Let's see, that inch. There we go. I can still move this a bit further that way. And now I need to get the other one in there as well. I think that seems to work nicely. Now it's time to put the other hinge in place. Glue on it. Get, get this one in place as well. Because I'm, yeah, no, this would have been too hard before I even there. That's good. No, the glue hard, but just before I was manage, uh, just before I was able to put it in place. What a big deal. Let's get it up. You're gonna see it's too close. No, no, it still works apparently. There we go, that's one hinge made. So I did a little bit more bending, and as you can see, it seems to work now. So now I just need to add a little tab to make sure that the um, that the spool bit actually turns the spool. That's the next thing I'm going to do. When I measured it out, uh, I think I needed about six and a half millimeters to make sure that the thing would actually grab all. So I bend it like this, a little, a little, little T-piece. So now I'm going to glue this little thingy over here at about six millimeters from the center. Six, seven. Ish. There we go, dab of glue. And let's get it up a little bit here. Oh, it's getting already too cold. Let's heat it up again. That's the nice thing about working with metal and hot glue. You can just use the head metal to heat up the hot glue through the metal. And then squish it down where you want it. I think that's about it. Homemade hollow spool. Right. Now I just need to try it and make another one. Okay, this seems to work. And I flip the lever in reverse a bit. It needs to turn like this. It's pulling. Now it's gonna go. Yep, that's it. Works. I did need to do make a little adjustment so that it drops low enough. And that thing needs to be a little bit closer than I intended to, but in the end, if you're really fancy, you can try to make something like this yourself. It is a pain in the ass and I don't want to do it for anyone but myself, but it's an interesting experiment. Alright, goodbye, have fun. Oh, and don't forget, on the other side it needs to be in the opposite direction of the warp. Okay, bye bye.